Here we go. So good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. So this is uh, today's uh, 1st of June or J June 1st uh, GSOC um, office hours. I was reading the temperature. I thought this was the date and I was wrong. Okay. So Bruno joined. Okay, so hello everybody. So we're now one week, nearly one week into coding period. I think the engine starts to run. So I'll walk as usual through all the projects, do a round table and then open for questions, concerns, or information. So uh, the usual questions are, you will, you will learn that I always ask the same questions are, what happened last week? Do you have good news to share or difficulties to share? What do you plan for next week? And are you facing difficulties or uh, situations where you stuck that you would like to share? So we'll start with the first project on my list, which is the probe, the new probes for plug-in health. So Jakruti's turn. Hello. Tell us. Hi, everyone. So last week, uh, I worked on has unreleased production changes probe, and we did a pair programming session. So with the help of that, uh, the probe is successfully merged now. The PR is merged. And for next week, I'm going to work on third party detection, a uh, third party repository detection probe. Uh, for that, I'm going to start with uh, test cases. And for the previous probe that I've completed, I also wrote around 450 word log just to you know, have my changes and everything merged. Oh, sorry, I have recorded like what I did and how I did. Okay. So you moving was the uh, screen sharing or the pair programming session interesting for you, useful for you? How was yes, the experience? It was, uh, it was interesting. I mean, Adrian was like telling me what to do and how to do. If I was able to tell them logic, uh, he, I mean, uh, he let me do it by myself. But if I wasn't, he helped me. And he also gave me some tips about using IntelliJ better. So it was oh. learning about a lot of learning because I was... This was my first time interacting with JGit, and I was finding a little bit challenging. So he helped me out there. Okay. And then so also the I got to meet a new mentor, Mustafa. Yeah. So oh, okay. I, yeah, so... I met him then. So he joined that session too. So I met Mustafa. Okay. Great. Adrian, do you want to add something to uh, what Jack Ruti shared with us on the project? Uh, no, everything's fine. Uh, the pub was more challenging than we expected at the beginning because of JGit and so on. Uh, next ones, uh, I tried to um, uh, create. Uh, I created a, a, a project on uh, GitHub to uh, list the tickets, uh, the issues, what we want to work on, and order them. Uh, Try to make them by difficulties, um, uh, making uh, the one that are uh, less. Uh, likely to be using a, third, a complex third-party library to uh, interact with uh, elements um, uh, for later on the project. So I try to, to uh, make sure that uh, we have challenges, but not right away, uh, which was not the case for this problem. But uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was good. Uh, and uh, yeah, the pair programming session was uh, very interesting. So thank you for sharing that uh, experience, Jakruti. I like the smile you have. You, you made good progress. So uh, and maybe some ideas for other teams. Uh, although yeah. it's time-consuming and difficult with time zones, so it's not. But I like when good techniques are are shared. I, like I would that, like but... also to to add that Jakruti uh, offered to. Um, uh, kind of do a post-mortem uh, document on the prob. Uh, and sh so wh what you said, uh, Jagoti, you wrote that document and it was very interesting. Uh, 
uh, to to see um, um, because that explained also I is it it shows me what Jagoti understood and how she felt about that uh, that implementation experience. So that also uh, shows me what I did good or bad, and so I can improve in the future. So uh, thank you, Jagoti, for that initiative as well. Very powerful. Thank you for for sharing. Uh, that so uh, one idea was to share the screen and work together. Second was to start listing and having notes somewhere of the potential challenges and organize uh, yourself. And third, writing down the experience so that everybody, mentor and uh, contributor, can learn from the experience. So maybe not adapted to all projects, but a very good technique and. And uh, thank you for for sharing that. Just leave a few seconds if you want. Somebody wants to add something, or oh, if anyone has a question. No. Okay. Okay. Then we'll move to the next project being uh, building Jenkins IO with alternative tool. We have Vandit. Yes, he's there. Hi, uh, Vandit. You have also a smile. So what happened? What did you do? Well, I, I was working on the UI bundle for uh, the for the Entora site. And I was thinking that it would it will take much more time than I, uh, but it didn't. So like, I think I think I did, I did make I did much of the part that was like uh, implementing implementing the look or implementing the look of Jenkins to the site, uh, and I I sent and I sent a preview a preview of that and uh, and I think for next week I uh, next week I will I'll start porting the actual documentation so like we can work from there. And the 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 heavy lifting part or the manual labor you can say is I'll have I'll have to uh, shift I'll have to move all the images into the right directory uh, manually, and I'll have to edit the edit all the links. So yeah, Ooh. other now, than there, that, I think it was a good week. A yeah, good it looks looks like it. And it's a a good a good tip that I learned with all those years is. If you need to repeat something three times by hand, it's worth Auto looking into automating Auto it. Automated, yeah. I, I, script I or whatever. Writing a script, yeah. <laughs> but be a good lazy developer. If you need to repeat something by hand three times, stop and think. And generally yeah, it's worthwhile I'm automating. Planning to, I'm planning to write a script for the links part but the images i'll have to do that manually and that is the manual labor you can't automate look at yourself doing it behind here i don't have to intervene in this discussion you can also have with your mentor uh talking yeah. about uh mentor chris do you want to add something to what Vandit shared i i think we're making good, good progress like um maybe i don't expect it for the first for the first week during the coding period and on the uh, I don't have anything else to add. It's good great. Work. Sounds good. So great. I like to hear that. Leaving a little blank if somebody wants to ask a question or make a comment. Gives me also time to read my notes. OK, let's move to the next project, being Docker-based Jenkins Quick Start, Ashutosh. So thank you for, for joining and thank you for the gods of the internet that made it possible for you to join. Yes, <laughs> I also thank you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So uh, we have uh, decided to create a simple Docker Compose file uh, for this week's work. And I'm working on it right now. Uh, I'm having, uh, I got some issues and it's getting fixed uh, getting consulted by Mentor2. So uh, by this week, I think it should be um, completed. And we have also discussed uh, to start discussions with uh, Infra team and uh, Docs team uh, for the next week, I think. We'll schedule it for next week. 
Okay. For getting now, did I, things done. Okay. okay. Good. Ashutosh, did I understand it right? Because I've seen, I look what's happening from very far and mentors do a great job. So I just looking, but I've, I've seen that you were running into some Docker compose issues and things where uh, one flavor with uh, no uh, AES or whatever with the, the SSH uh, protocols. Yes, yes, I was getting those errors. Those and... were uh, working with some Im Docker images, but not working with others. And I was having uh, issues with uh, keys, and, with yeah. RSA keys. So uh, okay, we're looking well, into this, that right now. This incorporate proxies. These are, <laughs> um, are you still stuck or were no, you uh, able to get? Solved. The problem is solved. solved. Yes. Okay, good. So uh, uh, did I miss this, the, the answer in the Gitter channel or? We used I, the, uh, the... different method for generating keys. So the, that solved the issues, but we still don't know why that was not working. Okay, So good. Well. I'll, I'll, to look into it. Because this is a subject that tends to interest me, so uh, I, I still have some some good rests of knowledge about uh, about that. Bruno, do you want to add something? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> I saw Ashutosh ask for help, and thanks for asking for help. By the way, Ashutosh. Uh, it's always better than staying stuck at home uh, and able to do anything. So thank you for sharing that with us. Um, I tried to solve Ashutosh problems and unfortunately I fell into a rabbit hole once more. Uh, it's my habit, of course, habit, rabbit, rabbit hole. <laughs> Sorry for the dad joke. Um, because I, I was wondering, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we added the Jcast plugin by default without adding a Docker file just into the Docker Compose? And huh. one thing led to another, to another, to another. I now have an ugly and very big Docker Compose file that we won't be able to use as is. But maybe it will be a source for a cleanup later on, I should touch for maybe a, a more um, up-level um, Docker Compose file. We'll see. Anyhow, uh, sorry for not having been able to help you with that problem. But yes, we are working together, which is cool. Well, which is cool. And you, you obviously have a lot of fun digging into interesting problems and finding solutions. So good. <laughs> yes, indeed. The, the, the important message here is if you get stuck, uh, ask for help or at least mention it so that the mentor can start looking. Mentors don't have all the knowledge of the world. They And you just ask and, and you're going to get the answer. And so, no, that's not how the world uh, works. I'm sorry for that. But uh, one thing is explaining the problem to somebody else that's called rubber ducking. Oh, oh, but that's obvious. I, I, I didn't, now that I say it, the problem is now obvious. So that helps, or at least making somebody aware that you're struggling or that, that you, uh, you have difficulties. So this is an important lesson uh, uh, to have. And, and now the cooperation needs to, to be set up. So for me, uh, interesting lesson there too. Bruno, you would like to add something? Yes, where the docking works um, better when doing some pair programming or something, you know, even if the other one is not programming at all, just asking stupid questions, uh, because doing that via chat or email or whatever doesn't work that well. You know, um, it's better if you manage to find a time slot and work uh, together. Uh, I, I don't look like a duck, but I'm not a, a bad uh, rubber <laughs> duck. I don't know now why, but now I see you with a big beak of a <laughs> of a duck. Anyway, here. Thank you. We're still at the start of it. Problems will come and go. Everybody will find his technique. Uh, Adrian has has a lot of experience, and with Jack Crew, solutions were found. Here, no hurry, no no panic. We're starting and I see good progress and I see smiles. So this is what I'm looking for. 
So that's good. Uh, just leaving a blank if somebody wants to add something on that project. Oh, I, I have a little question for um, uh, Ashutosh and, and Bruno. Um, Bevianto helps, he's available. He's in a complete different uh, uh, side. I, yeah, I don't it see him. Not all this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bad boy. Okay. Uh, just kidding. We haven't no. seen Said for a while. I think we had him on the first uh, introductory meeting. Yes. Uh, okay. But on the regular meetings, correct me if I'm wrong, Ashutosh, I don't think we have seen him yet. Yes, okay. I don't think we'll... he's on the Gitter channel either. Okay. Okay. Bruno will, uh, I suggest that we have a little discussion. Mm -hmm. about that and sure. and see how we move on uh, with thank that you. so but uh, okay thank you very much for the update good work uh and and i'm jealous that you have good fun finding solutions no no we still uh, have one to... more project say again we still have one more project to get that project. yeah but this is this was the fourth i was going to uh to ask here so harsh there, turning on the camera. I like that. Yeah. So Harsh, tell us, what is your the last project there? So I hope you will continue in a positive mood of the three other projects and tell us what happens. Uh, it's been a long week. I did a lot of things actually. So, so I made a very long draft PR literally. So it got reviewed by Basil and I made the plugin work like I migrated. I almost achieved the first milestone and I migrated it, but the problem came like, uh, I broke the backward compatibility with it and Basil pointed it out and we have to rework it because what I did was I mixed two PRs in a single PR and that's not what you do. Uh -huh. Yeah, so okay, you were but... asking something? No, I said, well, this is uh, one of the pitfalls so I, yeah. I'll, I'm interested to hear uh, uh, Chris's opinion there. Can you explain what is like the a, problem and what you should what, have done uh, technique-wise, yeah. not too much in the details, but so that others like, can learn? Like we, what we wanted to achieve was we wanted to remove some part of the plugin and we wanted to retain some part of the plugin. So what I did was I did both of the things at the same time. Like we wanted to remove the version three of the GitLab, but we wanted to use version four and we anticipated the incoming version five also. So the problem was we wanted to keep up the system that uses, bo that uses both the version. But what I did was I removed the system which kept both versions and I only, I made the, I made the plugin work just with one version and I removed the second one. Now, I didn't really thought about the future thing, like which Basil pointed out that someday the other version, the more future version will also come, which will make the version four the older version. And we have to keep that intact. And thus, I broke the backward compatibility with it. So that okay. was the whole thing. Like uh, there were two PRs. The first PR was to remove the version three and the second PR was to keep the both of the versions intact. So I just mixed both of them and that was too much. So what I have to do in next week is just to make a single PR and in which the both plug in, uh, both versions of GitLab will be used. And after that, in the later stages of the migration, I'll have to remove the version three and use version five instead. So it's quite an interesting thing that happened with me. Okay. Can I summarize your experience? Big PRs, complicated PRs, is a recipe for disaster. disaster. I see a lot of people nodding uh, uh, there. Okay, was that but, a, but it a was fair a prototype summary? PR actually? Because we 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 knew this this kind of thing would happen because the we decided to migrate the thing, but we couldn't do it in steps. We had to take big PR for that, and we almost anticipated it. And this was going to happen. Even Mark knew that we will have we will be having compatibility issues. Mm -hmm. So what we decided to do was we wanted to try stuff. So we made a draft PR, and now I will break the PRs into smaller chunks. And I think it should be, it would be much better and more successful. Like the other technical problems that I have, we'll be discussing in tomorrow's meet that we'll be having. It's going to be interesting meet because. Uh, we don't have much information about the backward compatibility on Jenkins. Little, page. I have a little question for you, Harsh. You've you've seen that you broke 
the backwards compatibility. So how did you see it? Did, did Were the tests failing? No. It's, or uh, it's, did you it's, test it's, by it hand? Not, no, it, it was not about the test. Actually, I got the plugin working. The, the problem was Basil pointed it out that I didn't think of the future. I was, I was okay. too much immersed in the present. And that's the problem. If I would have okay. used my brain much more and thought about the future, this wouldn't have happened. I should have used my yeah. brain more. Well, no, here, this is learning, doing experiences. This is here. Uh, th this is a very interesting experience and your difficulties are also useful. Uh, to your colleagues and also for me. So I, I always uh, learn on that. So I still see a smile on your face. Yeah, because I know how to handle stuff. Like I've been, <laughs> in, I've been into such bad situations, I can handle anything. <laughs> okay, good. Chris, do you want to add something? Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually have been worried about like we uh, how we kind of rush into things instead of like planning things and talking over first, because that's most important to to reduce the chances of having to rework everything. So I, so I know that process may become frustrating. That's why I wanted to ask for more plans first, but um, it seems like that that didn't happen, but uh, it, it should be fine. The problem is good. Okay. So, and, and here, um, well, I'm sorry for that, but uh, here I use this meeting here, trying to pinpoint some lessons that uh, people learn so that we can share uh, them. So this is why I, I generally uh, pick up, and, and Chris said something very powerful uh, here, that sometimes taking a little bit more time in planning or thinking the things over, uh, you can avoid a lot of waste of time in, in toil. So very good point. Chris, do you want to add something? Um... Another thing is that I, I kind of want to do it in a more systematic way. So it's like more more like uh, diagrams, more chance to help visualize things so we can discuss together and agree, uh, agree on a plan that we, we all things we've asked for the project. Okay, good. Generally, can I see a smile on your face? Like harsh, everything's going well? Well, I don't need to turn the camera on. That's no problem. So, <laughs> but it's more its more uh, 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 general information. So project is going well. Yep. Great. OK. Thank you. I can fully understand that some environments don't allow to turn the camera on. So okay. uh, we reached the end of the meeting. Oops. We still use nearly all the time. I'm. I'm I'm very interested in those conversations. So uh, thank you very much for sharing. Does somebody want to add uh, something? I have one point. I just leave a blank if somebody wants to interrupt and go. So the point I wanted to make was just to, uh, so that you know, I already mentioned it last week. Um, so I'm going to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, with the lead mentor of every project, just to go around and having uh, the that I'm I'm re not reassured, but that I know that the projects are running, and but this I have during this meeting, but I want to one uh, meeting there. If there is uh, a mentor that would like to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with me. Uh, he just needs to ask for it, but I'm not going to, to waste everybody's time uh, on that. I'm also going to send a date propositions to the contributors uh, for you. So somewhere uh, the week of the 10th, 10th of June. So not next week, but the week thereafter. Uh, so that we have plenty of time to organize at a convenient time for you. So that's it. Thank you very much for sharing your adventures. Uh, I see uh, good progress, fun. So let's continue that way. And I wish you all a nice and pleasant week, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Jean Marc. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.